I change of plans, there are like cops and firefighters. We back. We back. <laughs> On today's vlog. No, I'm just kidding. No, okay. please don't. So I'm looking at two cameras right now. Uh, I'm just going to look at mine for now. Today we're going to be doing the coolest college commitment post ever. Abdullah, Abdullah's brother, just got into USC. Congratulations. And uh, Abdullah had the idea of coming up with the absolute like craziest commitment photo ever. And that's what this video is going to be about, plus a few words on like our thoughts about like the whole kind of toxic culture around college commitment and all of that stuff. On with the video. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Recap, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, this happened. I am missing a propeller. And so now that I got this thing, hopefully the drone can fly again. So now the moment of truth, we're in Pelho's backyard. We're going to see if this thing actually takes off. Thank God, now I don't need to buy a new drone. <laughs> Stuffed the table in the car. I actually haven't explained what the concept of the video is. So, so I'm gonna do that in the car because right now we're heading to Ikea. Yeah, I saw Ikea, but just follow me the entire time. Yeah, all right. All right, that is very underexposed. All right, so right now we're heading to Ikea. I've done this segment like three times, but I'm gonna use this one. Right now we're heading to Ikea so that we can get a, a red or yellow sofa for the shoe. And I realize now that I haven't actually explained what the shoot is. So I'm gonna let Dalha explain it because it was his idea. All right, so basically my brother just committed to USC about two months ago and how like on Instagram, everyone makes those Instagram commitment posts for like their colleges wearing their hoodies or whatever. I decided to make Abdullah's super special. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to USC. We're gonna grab a couch. We're gonna put that couch in the middle of an intersection and then take some photos. And um, yeah, it's uh, that's pretty much the full idea. There's not much to it and hopefully it just works out. And she's like, oh, I can't do We are so very lost. Ikea is like, it's a very smart business move, but it yeah. makes me feel like I'm stuck, like I'm a rat. But we're so lost. Ikea is its own city, basically. It's its own city, honestly. But living in here would be fun. Look, you never, run out, of, never run out of lights, honestly. 24 hour fort overnight fort challenge in Ikea. Should I, right now, just change the entire concept of the video just to stay in Ikea? Yes. 1,000 likes and we'll do it. 1,000 likes. <laughs> never getting 1,000 likes. Now we're just gonna get this one, which is probably better because it's a lot easier to assemble. The first one would have been a lot more to assemble. So also, since it's these. yellow. No, you don't need those. Also, since it's yellow, it'll contrast with USC's all red campus a little bit better. All right, last minute we decided to get this painting so that we can have someone literally stand in the shot with the painting just covering their face. That's probably gonna be funny. Bolho's going to get the farm, but we just picked everything up and we're gonna return it right after we finish using it. So it costs like 300 something, but it doesn't even matter because literally after we're done, we, we double check with the cashier and we're just gonna return it. Except the painting, we're keeping the painting. You are? I actually really like it. It's a nice painting. All right, so we're just building this couch right now. We ran in two. OMG What's strength. Up? Up? What do you do, Brian bro? Brian Clemens, I'm a fitness trainer. So I train celebs, I train anyone who needs it. Um, been doing this since 2010. So uh, I enjoy it, it's my passion, it's life. What are some people you've trained? Kevin Hart, uh, Floyd Mayweather, Will Smith. The toy like it. Um, Marlon Wayans got him ready for a couple movies, um, and uh, you know anyone else who needs it. That's it. All right, where can they find you? OMG Strength, right here, and uh, that's it, really. All right, we just finished building the chair, and all his friends are all here, so we got the squad that we need for the video. Now we can actually get on with the shooting. All right, change of plans. There are like cops and firefighters right behind us, so we decided not to fly the drone because it is like borderline illegal apparently, which I just found out. Also USC prohibits it, so uh, probably not the best idea. The way we're capturing this is that Dolha's gonna have the 6D recording photos. He's gonna have a GoPro in his mouth to record POV like I normally do. Nolan is going to be vlogging on the A6400. I'm gonna be doing a secondary like commentary angle with this camera. Are you ready for this? Yes. How we got this? <laughs> Hey, someone, uh, you guys basically can't say when to go, okay? I'm gonna turn around. Imagine if we got hit by a car and died. That'd be pretty funny. No matter, let's go.
That's how the shoot went. I think it turned out good, and now we're gonna go over and look at some of the photos. So it's the next day. Yesterday we got home pretty late. The photos came out really good. I'm gonna put them right here, and you can watch the vlog on Thalha's channel, which I'm gonna link down below. Um, so the rest of the video is gonna be about the toxicity around college commitment culture. In my opinion, the biggest problem with the whole college application process isn't the admissions and application process itself, but more so the environment that is created by it. There's a lot of toxicity and flexing that comes with the whole process and that definitely plays a big part into your initial experience. Dolha invited a lot of his friends over today and so I'm going to be asking them to share their experiences and how they've dealt with it. My name's Tala. I'm currently going into USC as a sophomore, but that's not exactly how I spent my last year. So when I first applied to USC, which was the only school I was seriously applying to, I applied to the IYA Academy, Ivan and Young Academy, and um, I received an interview. So that's a whole part of an application too. So by the point by the point in time I received the interview, I was like, oh, this is where I'm going. I really want to go here. And I guess when people started asking me that, I was like, yeah, this is where I'm headed. Sadly, it didn't work out in my favor. I ended up getting rejected, um, which fueled me for this entire last year to work harder and harder and end up at USC to study computer science. And while I did end up at the college that I wanted to attend, being on both sides of this fence kind of showed me that College admissions are part of life. We all do have to go through them. At least many of us do who are watching this. But at the same time, you can't let it define yourself and you can't let others make it a defining feature about you. In order to avoid that, you kind of have to realize there is a life and there is, you have more to you than just college admissions. Oh, I was gonna start singing. Should I, should I walk into frame? No, honestly, I think that was a perfect intro. No. Oh. <laughs> My name's Swan. So uh, during my high school experience, I did not, I made the decision that I didn't want to go to college. I just didn't think it was right for me. Um, it was a hard decision to come to, but I think I made the right one. I am currently trying to enlist in the U.S. Army. I think that's the right path for me. It was a pretty easy decision, but I think the consequences that came with it were hard to bear. I'm trying to explain that to my family and like other friends that I wasn't going to college because college is a very traditional route. And so I feel like it's a bit frowned upon if you're not going to college. Um, I would always get asked, where are you going? and I want to say I'm not going to college. Or, um, I want to become a canine handler in the army and I'm really happy with the decision. And I think it's what's best for me. Um, maybe future down the line, I want to pursue a higher education, but for now I'm doing what I want. Yeah. Hey guys, my name's Christian. Um, I'm going to be a junior at Duke University in the fall. And I'm just going to be talking about a couple of my experiences when I was applying to colleges. I know when first applying, there were, were a lot of people constantly asking me, oh, where are you applying? Where do you want to go? That was a lot of stress as a 17-year-old. Um, I didn't really know at the time. And then even after decisions came out, I was constantly harassed and bombarded with questions about, oh, where did you get in? Did you get into good schools? Um, do you know where you want to go already? And at that point, that's kind of a question that I had to think about myself. I didn't know at the time. Um, and even now, I'm two years into college and I can't even believe it, that's crazy. But um, even now, I still get people asking me, oh, what colleges were you choosing between? Both people from here in LA that I grew up knowing and people at Duke, like my friends and other students there. And that's not really a question I thought I would be having to answer while I was in college. Like I've already made my decision and I'm happy with it, I'm at Duke. And it's, quite irrelevant to what I'm planning on doing. But um, there's also reasons for not wanting to choose a top end school. So for example, I'm going to medical school or at least planning on it. And I know that it's a lot of people think it's advan advantageous to go to a less rigorous school or less um, highly ranked school because your competition isn't as difficult within your own school and it's a little bit easier to get a higher GPA. And that's Honestly, a smart tactical move for graduate school. All right, my turn. Um, 
Okay, I'm gonna be a freshman at Berkeley next year studying electrical engineering and computer science. For me, the decision was between the USC Iovine and Yang Academy, which was my dream school, and then Berkeley Eeks, which is one of the dream schools for anyone who's in my like major. And so, even though I know I would have probably had more fun at USC, or I would have enjoyed my time at USC more, ultimately I knew that Berkeley was the right decision for me, just practically in, in terms of career and startups and everything like that. But anytime you're making a decision between two things, obviously there's the opportunity cost of picking one over the other. And I think there's always going to be those moments in life where you have to make a decision and you shouldn't get bogged down in thinking about whether or not you made the right decision. And instead you should just trust your decision and then move on with life. And then the last person who has something to say is Abdullah. Hello, my name is Abdullah Rafiq and I am an incoming freshman to USC's class of 2025. So when I was making my final college decisions, I ended up having to decide between USC and Cornell. And for me, the decision wasn't too hard for what was better for me. The harder decision was actually whether uh, I would be, how I would be perceived by a lot of people. Whenever I said to someone that I was going to, when I was deciding between USC and Cornell, I always got these reactions when I said Cornell, not in the same way that I got for USC. And it became this really hard uh, question whether I should go to the school which was better for me or whether I should go to the school which uh, people actually reacted to. And it took a lot of thinking and a lot of encouragement from people I really loved and people I really cared about to figure out what exactly would push me forward in my long-term goals. So my biggest advice to whoever's uh, going to through the college admissions process is you have to depend on people who you really know are lo looking out for you, who really know you, and uh, really depend on those people when you're uh, trying to figure out what exactly is the best position for you, and then really consult yourself internally before making that final decision of where you're going to be spending your next four years. And if you're wrong, guess what? It doesn't even matter. I think like 30% of college students transfer. So uh, just have a good time. People, uh, yeah, just have a good time. That, that's what I have to say. Uh, oh, sorry. That's the end of the video. Uh, if you want to put, find their Instagrams, it's going to be in the description. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon. Peace. <laughs>